Hey everyone, so I know the lighting's not great in here just now, please forgive me and please forgive my cat. I've just got back from the library and I really, really want to do this haul. I know I don't normally do this many book hauls, but my new local library has so many amazing books that I just absolutely had to grab them and share them with you. First one is The London Scene by Virginia Woolf. You may know that I'm absolutely obsessed, crazily in love, besotted with Virginia Woolf. And as far as I know, this is basically... Virginia Woolf's look at London. It's it's kind of a weird shaped book. It's 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 really nice. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Fully as exciting is another one about Virginia Woolf, which is Living in Squares, Loving in Triangles: The Lives and Loves of Virginia Woolf and the Bloomsbury Group. This is written by Amy License, and I'm assuming that it's all about the loves lives of the likes of Virginia Woolf, Lytton Strachey, Vanessa Bell, Dora Carrington and the rest of the Bloomsbury group and I am just, my heart belongs to the Bloomsbury group. I just, I love them so much and really looking forward to this a lot. Also obviously with the dim lighting you might not be able to see this clearly but this is a photograph of Junior Wolf and Leonard shortly after their engagement in 1912 which I just think is so beautiful. Then we have Criminal London, which is a look at all the criminal hotspots of past in London. I'm really, really excited about this. I think there's a bit in here about Jack the Ripper as well. So I'm looking at the cat's rubbing herself off against the books that the camera's propped on. I'm really looking forward to uh, having a look at some of the darker corners of London. And this is the bumper book of London. I'm not sure if this is designed for children or if it's just fun and colourful for the fun of it, but it's uh, kind of bright and quirky look at the history of London and some of London's hotspots that absolutely have to be checked out. I think it is probably a, a kid's book but I think it'll be a quiet little, a sweet little snapshot of some of the highlights that basically if you live here you're supposed to go and see. The second last one I didn't actually know existed but I kind of hoped it did and this is Walking Literary London which is basically walks to take in London that have literary connections and obviously we have the Kensington Gardens Peter Pan statue there. I will use this for vlogging. I will have a read through this and see how many different vlogs I can do and kind of do a vlog series of showing you bits of London with literary connections so I may have this out of the library for quite some time but I'm, I'm kind of really ecstatic about this. I'm really looking forward to this and hopefully the vlog plan will carry out as well. So there we have them, all non-fiction, all very, very exciting or intriguing. If you have any suggestions for books that you think I should check out, fiction or otherwise, let me know. I look forward to hearing what you have to suggest and I'll speak to you all soon.